all up on MLK Day here in Washington, D.C., and the only tip goes to G.W., the Colt uh, Revolutionaries. 13 and 3 on a two game win streak inside. Quickly, and the bucket. And that is Tech, Washington, D.C. native, red shirt freshman. 6'7, 235. Got some size. There he is again. Kicks it back out. There's the right side, and that. Uh, that combination of Buchanan and Garrett Johnson. Have the Patriots two games ago against VCU for 15 from the floor. Edwards to Buchanan. He'll take the three ball. That one finds the bottom for Darren Buchanan. He came in averaging 15.8. And the Revs clear. Edwards, left side. And the jam. That one's in and out. Love the effort. Like oh, left hand, and that one falls underneath in the paint, looking for help. Buchanan, Jared Phillips on him. Buchanan, big body. Because of that big body, he's a he's a very viable screener. Three on the shot clock, and Bishop from the left baseline. That one falls for James Bishop the fourth. He can make the tough ones. the call here from the referee crew the officials having a chat Roger Ayers proud of to complete the three-point play game for GW and Buchanan working at body left side now that's Jacoy Hutchinson also in line the pressure from the Laurel Maryland for the Reds Maximus Edwards pull up jumper got it Phillips, left hand, high off the glass, so he gets his own rebound. Polite now, off the glass, that one in and out. Boy, can't find a bucket. The save, Hall, right side, and a three ball. And that's debilitating if you're George Washington. And then from the floor, Bishop directing that revolutionary offense. Good for help, Hutchinson. Ten on the shot clock. You can the spin move on Hall. Up and under. There it's trying to do. Giving him a bench. Hutchinson to Buchanan. Bishop, he'll take the three ball. That one. The edge. And the rebound. Tunde. Akumbola. Inside. Oh, he's hand. It would have been a teammate of his own that I think obstructed that. A little friendly fire. Bishop near turnover. Edwards inside, Akumbola. Oh, the reverse move, can't get it to go. Bishop, drive, little Euro step, and they'll call the foul, James Bishop the fourth. Well, senior from Baltimore, Maryland, St. Joseph High School. And Tells you they're disciplined in their defense. They're not violating a lot either. Turnover, number five for the Patriots. Smith Jr., that three ball finds its way to the bottom. And the Colonials, three for six. Turnover, here comes GW. Six turnover for George Mason. 8-0 run in the last four minutes plus for the Colonials. Run to eight side of the foul call. Bodies on the floor and... <laughs> that was the relaxed flex. To get downhill. Create that wall of resistance. Belly with the body. Don't need to close out hard on it. See, and then you've given it up. That's not understanding the game plan. Luckily, it's a miss from Buchanan. He shoots 23%. I know he's made one here. That's not his game. Ball off the glass and in. For Chick, you mentioned those turnovers. They going to try and explore some early offense, but have to generate stops to be allowed that opportunity. Here's Henry on Buchanan, right side. Smith, Antoine Smith, get out. 13 foul for GW. There's Darius Maddox on the miss. Boy, here's a cellophane wrap on that. Okajay. Down low, he'll go to the line. Offense. There's Maddox averaging 13 points a game. And Ontario native hits the free throw. As Hit the big fella touchdown low. He's earned it. <laughs> Working on the defensive side. 
Here comes GW. 11. Cannon had a loop, but Akumbola finally gets that touch. Again. On that three-point option, trying to get back a set of defense. One for 10 from beyond the arc. Shades of that VCU game, 0 15. Painful to watch for them. Revolutionaries. And there's Bishop, wow. the left hand. You are deeply rooted in this area, man. It's pretty cool to watch. Maximus Edwards, left side. And there's a turnover. Here comes Billups. Bishop sticks his hand in there. Clean foul. Billups with three points so far. One for two for Jared Billups. GW. Red Hutchins. Buchanan, big fella. That's a soft touch from Darren Buchanan. Off bench for Kiss Computer. Right now, Mason looking for any kind of spark offensively. To the right side, and that's a bucket, and there's that man. Left side. Hutchinson on the miss. I feel like that one was forced from Hutchinson. Didn't have it. Pull it out, run some offense. Keep methodically building on this lead. If we can just encapsulate what sport is the way I see the look in the mirror. Believe it or not, there was a clock malfunction. What? He said that in jest. I have that. That does happen from time to time in this, our game. I had that this morning in my, my alarm clock. Didn't go off. Well, you're here on time. Uh, that's debatable. Bishop, uh, left corner. Talk about on time. My man is always on time for this George Washington group. Inserted into the player of the year conversation very early on. It's the ability to deliver moments like that consistently for the reps. He's got 10. Mari Kelly, that one finds the front edge. And Rockin' Bowl. Inside. Out of contact. Big fella with the hands. Gotta go. Five on the shot clock. Gotta get rid of it. You can it right side. That one finds the bucket just in time. That's tough. It's a, a tight bond over all these years because of what they've achieved. And now where they are respectfully. Hall, leaner, won't go. He'll head to the line. Some things. But you're gonna come out with the sense of let's not look for the half. He's back here now with 22 seconds to go. Mason with the ball. Try to climb back. Down 16. And Kelly at the three ball. Finds the bottom. Big bucket for Mason here with 7.9 to go. Massive bucket. Defense and rebounding and toughness. Well, they've checked those boxes here in the first stands. Foul to give, and that'll go to other alternative. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess. I so maybe say. I'm mainstream. Maybe I wasn't you are. Sure. All right, Bishop. And a foul caught up top. Bishop's quick. Two fouls. 4.6. And a foul on Eric Johnson on the inbounds. Maximus Edwards. That will go. Can't get it. Tip in. No good. Had three chances. Maximus Edwards can't get it to go. Omari Kelly, 23 in black. Establish your big man. Play through him. Try and get that rhythm going. Here's his first touch. Inside, pump fake, left hand and in. Call me the basketball Buddha. I mean, it's an easy game if you don't have the three. Get your guy down low to settle your offense. You're a savant. I've, I've been called worse. Well, <laughs> that was take, just today at halftime. Definitely take savant. Bishop for three, and why the answer from Jay Help turnover, first of the half for GW. Maddox, three ball. In and out. <laughs> Offensive board. Oh, the hand gets it to go. Bishop thought about the three. And then turnover. Second straight turnover for the Colonials. And that is nine for the game. Kelly. He'll pull for the three. That one finds the bottom. Revolution. Oh, you start to get a little bit of a rhythm offensively. Then you take a selfish one for the baseline. Turnover. Third of the second half. For the Reds, Paul up and under and in. And here comes I go time out. Tony Skins crew. I would settle. He's gonna have to play through it here. Paul's got 13. Bishop. 
Back up top with Maximus Edwards. Edwards will push Eurostep. That one off the glass. Tough bucket for Maximus. Catch. The Nakamura. Knocked away. Nice play by the big fella. And right back to Mason. Maddox. Little floater. Down seven is Mason. Well, no good. So G'd up now. Starting to find it a little bit cold on the shooting here in the second half. Polite pulls up. That one finds the bottom. And here comes George Mason. It's allowed to pursue early offense to where they're shooting 60% from the field in this second half. Stark contrast what we saw in the first half. Oh! I just sit on the drive. Bucket. Who made some big plays in their last game defensively. Two big steals. To bring them back against Davidson, eventually winning in overtime. It's hard to truly fall back from a deficit when you have so many gifted players off the balance in the guard spot like the Reds have. Oh. It's down low. That one almost a bucket of blood. It's each other. Phillips to for the Reds. Mason fought their way back. Whatever Tony Skin said at halftime has worked here. The Bishop pulls up. And a foul call on Billups. Gonna be a two, two shot foul for Bishop. I think he didn't complete it there. It's still a high percentage look. It didn't work there. You need to keep pursuing opportunities to get Kelly touches. And Akumbola down low. That one blocked, but a foul called. <laughs> Especially with the snow on the ground. First. Second one. Runs against the basketball from here. It's a difference maker. You know he's there. I need to check the air in the basketball. He spiked that. Buchanan, the freshman. Strong move. 18 on the afternoon. That's where his average is, and it goes. In this second half, the Smith Center. Oka J waited patiently for the flyby. Wholly unacceptable. There is no way on it. Going to skim the nice inbounds play. 40 to go. Nine point lead. Hutchinson can't get it. All knocked around. That one ahead to Oka J. Right back to Polite. That was blocked, but they're going to call a foul. Ronald Polite, the senior from Temple Hills, Maryland. In the afternoon. Came in averaging nine. Eight point. Rebs lead. Be trying to get three straight wins in conference. Eric Johnson not afraid to take the three ball. That was deep. That might have been from Maryland. Here comes Mason down 11. Maddox. Jumper. Smooth. Maddox plays at a good pace. Full look here. Jump shot. Comes in, leading his squad at 13 points. But he's got six. Edwards, the drive, that one. Block called. Maximus Edwards. We saw Tony Skin there talking to Ronald Polite. Four. W is led by as many as 18. The lead has been down to five here in this second half. But the revolutionaries have pushed their way back. Deshaun Hall, working down low, and Akumbola says, I don't think so. Buchanan's a tough body in the chest, so you're already going at it, eh, and then the timing from that second jump defender, it's just a combination of Buchanan's physicality, the length of stretch to block the, the handle. Phillips, the pass nearly knocking the official out. Maddox, that three ball's no good. Loose ball and a foul call. It'll be on Okaja. In the bonus now, Edwards heads to the line. First one, Risky Miami. He said that Caputo was a volunteer for three years, no pay. And they were at UConn. And he kept at it, kept at it. And when it was an opening, got the job as an assistant. And now here he is in his second year at GW. Kelly, patient. 
Up and under. Got to find more ways to get Kelly the basketball. And maybe Kelly needs to make himself more of a receiver. But I think another way Kelly can acclimate himself a little bit more, insert himself, is as a screener at, at the top and being a pick and pop guy. Get some of those three point looks as well. Cannon strong move to the hoop. Boy, that's. Turnover. Revolutionaries. Hall. Good pressure by Hutchison. They'll find Maddox for the easy control. He doesn't have a chance here now. To get within single digits. All on Johnston. Went through everybody. Three ball. Can't come up with it, but a foul is called. That was a special, special man. Chris Caputo told us all human beings. Maxon, 30 to go. From the Smith Center. Mason looking for some points anywhere. Maddox, that's a three. That's 10 boards. Stretch. Cannon off the glass. No foul called to the rack for two. Darren McCannon's got 19 points. Another trip down the court. Nothing for Mason. Bishop and a home. It is Mason in the negative two category to the runs. Bishop's got. 15. Put that in the bold sharpie, what he did. Jared Johnson working on Hall. And that one goes in and out. For now, he wears the number nine on his jersey. This year. Not off the presses this Monday after. We're going to look back and see some of these conversions that they could not complete or define it. 32% on the floor this afternoon for George Mason. Bishop on the drive, the left hand, and in on their home court. Hutchison looking for Edwards. Turnover. Revs. Phillips. The Hall. Akambola couldn't quite get that one as Hall gets the bucket. He's got 15. Looks to go 11 and 1 on their home court here at the Charles E. Smith Center. Bishop steps through, floater, and a foul call. He'll head to the line. He hit when he was at Seton Hall. Not surprised by the player. He's going to check out Bishop. Yeah. To shoot 50% or more. Look, George Washington shoot 42%. They're doing that job defensively. They cannot score the basketball today. It's just a real struggle for George Mason. Turnover, and Hall gets 10 matchup. Cannon, the bishop, turnover. All left side working on Johnson. Push in and a foul call on Garrett Johnson. Oh. Right on his average. He's got eight. Cleveland, Ohio. Transfer from Yola. Checks out for a fine afternoon. Three points, 11 rebounds, and four blocks. On the sin side, there's Mason with a bucket. Roger Ayer says a foul called. And they're at Mason and Chris Caputo. Perhaps I'll be able At this point, in a, in a, a first year guy and a second year coach, and the starts they've had this season. And also what Coach Caputo did the season ago already. Maddox off the front edge for three. Near tip in. Edwards pulls it down. And they'll call a foul on Jared. GW here. And I imagine George Mason will call it off here. Play without foul. Buchanan running free, and that's the jam from Darren Buchanan. He's got 21 on the afternoon. He was 9 for 13 from the field. Those two, the easiest. Maddox, three, off the front edge. It continues for Mason. They were 5 for 24 from beyond the arc and shot 32% from the field.
for George Mason as GW, the Revolutionaries, win on MLK Day and move to 14 and 3. So for Jordan Cornette, AJ Ross, and our entire CBS crew, this is Chick Hernandez saying so long from Washington, D.C.